Prosecutors shedding some new light on a horrific quadruple murder in South Suburban Tinley Park. Today, the father in the case appeared in court charged with his wife and daughter's murders. WGN's Julian Cruz is live in Bridgeview with the new details. Julian? Hey guys, prosecutors say that Maher Kasim told responding officers that he was enraged by his wife and daughters. The suspect allegedly telling investigators his family treated him like a dog. His anger escalating into violence, prosecutors say much of it witnessed by his 19-year-old son. And then witness one heard gunshots. Maher Kasim's 19-year-old son hearing gunfire from the basement Sunday morning, according to Tinley Park Police, at the family's home on the 7400 block of West 173rd Place. Witness one observed the defendant shoot victim four and then walked toward the exit from the basement where the defendant shot victim one twice. The horrific details described at an initial hearing here at the Cook County Criminal Courts building in Bridgeview. The 63-year-old facing four counts of first-degree murder with his head down for much of today's court proceeding with Judge Lindsey Jones granting the state's petition for pre-trial detention. The officer asked the defendant who else was there and the defendant stated, quote, they're gone. After the rampage, the suspect opening the door to police summoned by a 911 call. The defendant replied that there were four people shot and, quote, I'm going to jail. The tense interaction captured on police body cam video, investigators say. The suspect later showing police where the weapons were, a 38 caliber revolver and 9 millimeter semi-automatic. In total, 17 shots fired, according to prosecutors. Kasim's wife fatally shot seven times, the teenage witness managing to escape harm. The defendant was recorded volunteering things about having just retired and that, quote, she treats me like a dog. The suspect said to have told police that this all started as an argument with his wife and daughters. Tinley Park police say that in the past they have no record of ever being called to the family's home. At the Bridgeview Courthouse, Julian Cruz, WGN News. All right, thank you, Julian.